All right, we're going to do a brief demonstration of the Domnizon DD Smart Server, which is a fully integrated with Control 4 server that also automates uh, disk copying, uh, cataloging, serving from its storage, and many, many other things. I'll start by um, saying that it's an always on device, uh, meaning that it does not go off with the room off. You probably can't see from the remote, but right now, it says Equipment Room, DD Smart Server. If I hit Room Off, obviously it's not going to go off. That is configurable from the driver. You can change that. But anyway, I go back to DD Smart Server. Uh, red button is power. Uh, it can turn it on from a completely powered off state. Um, yellow is reboot. I'll go ahead and do that now just to show you the time it takes for a reboot. It's actually very fast as far as boot up and reboot. The reason I configured it to be an always-on device is because it's based off Windows Home Server 2011, which is designed to be running all the time and also benefits the household by being able to back up all uh, desktops, PCs, uh, even other devices that if you properly configure it. Um, so it's going through the restart mode now. Um, first you'll see that it has uh, a RAID uh, screen. It uh, contains a LSI 3-Ware RAID 5 uh, hardware setup with six 2 terabyte hard drives for 12 terabyte terabytes total. Uh, you get about 9 terabytes of usable space with that, 300 gig of which is used on the operating system and program files. It's formatted to 4K, which means it's good for regular small files and your documents and uh, are served from there as well uh, throughout the network. The uh, music recorded videos and recorded TV are all stored from the D drive, uh, which is formatted to 64 KB. Uh, it's designed to hold larger files only. Um, so avoid putting any small documents on, on the drive. It'll just take up uh, a minimum of 64 KB. Okay, as you can see, a startup, it's designed to default to uh, a full screen My Home. So after every boot, it'll go just like that. Um, I still have my Control 4 um, remote the 250 set up to control it so we can get out of that if we want the previous button essentially exits any running program uh, the record button the red button on the remote will take you to I'm on front view which is a different uh, software program that can run it'll display information about the system uh, you can see across the bottom there'll be a news feed on the top right is weather you probably can't see in the picture but I have it set for my nearest city, which is Columbus, Ohio. Uh, you can, of course, pick your nearest CD or city. It will also um, cycle through uh, mail status. You'll see it. It can check your uh, any Pop3 account to see if you have mail. It won't actually, it's not a mail client, but it'll notify you if you have mail, uh, which is on the screen now. To get out of this, you just press the red record button again, and you're back to the home screen. Uh, if you want to get back to my home, it is the stop key, uh, which is right next to the red record button and then that will open up uh, my home again and you're back in business with my home. These are going to be the two primary things that I expect most users to run uh, because it is a full touch screen. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. Everything works in touch screen mode but again uh, touch lighting just like everything else, chandelier light and the chandelier light comes on if you can see it where you're at but that's what's going on right now in uh, my foyer. Uh, light off back to the home screen so you can see it works honestly just like uh, a 7 inch touch screen would except the fact that this is a 1080p touch screen you can uh, also duplicate whatever you're showing on uh, the system you know in high def uh, blu-rays can play on it you know whatever you want to do with it but I think most uses it'll be for 7 inch touch screen or perhaps the iMont which I just displayed okay so push previous which will get out of any running program and we're back to the desktop uh, uh, let me distrib uh, distrib demonstrate the recording of a disc. Uh, I wanted to just demonstrate how nothing really gets interfered with when it's running. I'll go back and uh, we'll put it back on my home and then I will back up uh, this audio CD for the late Amy Winehouse. Uh, but essentially I wanted to show that whatever you have running the CD just goes on in the complete in the background nothing will happen. I'm going to hit the green button which will open up the disc tray. Uh, whatever you're doing, whether it's 
I'm on the uh, seven inch touchscreen for my home, etc. It will not be interfered with any type of movie or disc backup. It just runs in the background and when it's done, it'll pop out. You can repeat the process. Uh, the server does work with NIMBY uh, Mega Changers. It'll work with a 100 disc changer. Uh, that's an upgrade on the software, but just let us know. It's a small upgrade and you can uh, automate 100 discs at a time. So it's a pretty nice feature. So as you can see, nothing really changed except uh, you can't really tell it, but right now it is backing up the Winehouse CD, uh, pulling cover art information, and it's going to categorize it into the library and be available for share. So it's a very nice automated feature for uh, your clients. Also on the remote, uh, red button is power, yellow button is restart, we went over that. Blue button, let me hit previous and get out of this. Blue button is an application launcher. It will, you can't see this, but it lets you choose, and I'm using the arrow key on the control for remote now going through. Uh, it lets you choose various things to launch. Um, certain, there's only so many programs really on the server. Uh, you don't need to run a lot of, uh, you know, Microsoft Word, anything like that. But if you wanted to launch any of these, you could hit the cancel button, which is like the escape key, essentially. Uh, it'll get you out of whatever you're looking at on screen. Uh, that is again the the blue button. The DVR button is a resolution shortcut. You can't see it but I'm cycling through resolutions on the screen. Uh, if you're going to have the HDMI out or DVI or which switch to a component out so you can display the not just the uh, DVD smart server contents on a TV but also basically have the ability to have another navigator on a TV that didn't previously before you can uh, change the resolution here to be essentially 1080p uh, through the HDMI out. It will recognize a second monitor setup. It'll ask the resolution you want for the primary monitor and the secondary monitor. The touch screen here in the box will always be your secondary monitor, so you want to keep that, and that's an 800 by 600 resolution. It should pick up 1080p automatically, but if you need to, again, the DVR button on the Control 4 remote uh, brings up a resolution, uh, kind of a shortcut there. All right. So, I think that pretty much covers it. Guide brings up the, uh, the guide button. Um, menu is task switcher. So anything that's running, which right now we don't really have anything running, but if you have four or five programs running, you can press menu. You'll be able to see what's running, uh, and you can switch through all those tasks. Uh, just kind of a shortcut to basically switch through them. Uh, that's, again, menu on your control for remote. Info will bring up anything if, if the screen actually has an info. Uh, feature. It depends on what's running and that's the same thing with uh, guide as well. Right now we don't really have a, a menu or guide feature. Um, that is pretty much it. We have the directional key. If you need to actually move the mouse, um, say here we're, we're trying to navigate to the uh, you know one of the icons here on the desktop, you probably won't be able to see it on your screen, but you control the mouse a bunch of different directions up and to the right which is what I'm doing now. Uh, you can see I am just highlighted my home. Uh, you can take it down. Let's go, in fact, I'll go over to the main icons. You might be able to see them highlight. And I can just slide through. I'm moving the mouse down. It's highlighting the various ones. Uh, Winehouse just finished, popped out. See, by now it's going to be completely categorized with cover art. You can repeat the process as needed. Uh, again, one disc at a time, or with the NIMBY upgrade, up to 100 discs at a time. Um, I shut the uh, disc tray there by pushing the green button again on the remote. Just briefly, I will demonstrate some of the touchscreen aspects of it. Uh, again, it works just like a regular server would. You have a Blu-ray disc suite, uh, which actually has the ability to uh, burn Blu-ray discs with Light Scrub, which is what this is actually a Blu-ray disc burner. It has a special program called Perfect Disc 12, which will actually defragment the large format hard drive, which normally computers cannot do. Um, there is a pen, a stylus that comes with it in case you're unable to basically touch anything, but I, honestly I think at this resolution you don't really have much problem kind of working your way around it. Uh, again, here's my home PC. So, um, The difference in, this is how on my home PC boots up on a normal computer. It'll boot up just like this. There's special programming in the startup as well as on the Control 4 remote to go to full screen mode. Um, so again, if you want that, you're going to want to hit the stop button on the remote to go to full screen. Um, that is essentially it. Everything again is automated. I will, don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I will bring up 
the dashboard, which is what Control uh, or Windows Home Server basically utilizes for its kind of background operating system. Uh, there's a few add-ins, an antivirus, and some other things. One of them is the Domin Design version of My Movies. Probably can't see it, but um, there is a uh, little logo here and it describes how I've got it set up, which is pre-configured for Dune and Control for use. Um, I, sh I forgot to mention the on the remote star is double click, uh, like a left mouse click. Pound on the other side of the zero uh, is right click. Uh, that could be important. In any event, we're going to go to this is movie. I have no movies listed, but however, if you go to movie uh, music disc, you're going to you can't really see it, but it says back to black. Uh, it's wanting to know if I want to copy something, which I don't at this time. Amy Winehouse. Uh, I'll highlight that. Uh, might be able to see it from where you're at. Uh, cover art, all the diss tracks, the names, uh, rehab, you know, I'm no good, etc, etc. So, all that's completely automated and now it's ready to share with Control 4. Um, again, that's something that just happens in the background no matter what your unit is doing or it's doing nothing at all, there's no user interaction with that process and it's completely automated. Uh, push the green button to control that. Let's go ahead and demonstrate, I guess, um, a shutdown. Again, your driver could be set up to shut this down if you're hitting room off. Uh, mine doesn't do that because again it really is benefits to run this all the time but I'll go ahead and push the red button just to show you you know that the uh, control 4 drivers you know all the way at the BIOS level the, no software has to be running to turn it on or off. Um, I'm going to push the red button now and it will go ahead and cycle the unit off. Uh, and you can see again uh, you know the level integration into the operating system itself. Uh, we're a control, or uh, sorry, a control for solution provider, but a uh, Microsoft uh, partner as well, part of the partner program, and that's how we got uh, this much integration. Um, what well, last thing I'll show, I guess, is kind of under the hood, uh, and in here is thermal management. Uh, you see the fan speed. You'll see temperature. It's going to monitor the processor fan, the system fan, and the hard drive fan. And the box above that is a media. Uh, kind of a mega media uh, center because it also has 5 volt and 12 volt power out as well as eSATA you can actually power uh, East external uh, eSATA enclosures if you want to transfer um, you know a large collection that you already have and there's obviously ports on the back but on the front you actually have the power outage it comes with the cables and you can transfer you know two three terabytes whatever you have on a disk at a time very very quickly uh, over to the share uh, and that pretty much covers it. Uh, obviously, there's, I guess, a lot more to it, especially, you know, once you're really looking into the aspects of Windows Home Server 2011, because it has all those features as well. Um, if you have any questions, of course, just contact sales at diamondhomedesign.com.